This is, again, the, the simplest, cheapest, fastest trick that I know of, something that I came up with through teaching where I feel free to do a lot of um, experimentation, as you should also in the studio. 99% of the experiments don't work, but this is one that I think did. And uh, to cut to the chase, very simply what I do is I run the vocal through a pair of headphones. It can be any pair of inexpensive headphones, uh, like these Audio-Technicas. What I'm using uh, in our booth is just a pair of uh, Sony 440 headphones. And then I point something that you also probably have, which is a Shure SM57, at the earpiece of the headphones, maybe um, a foot away, something like that. If you listen to the sound of vocals coming through the headphones, you hear a sort of a whispery quality. It's really basically everything between about 2 and 4K, which is where all the intelligibility of speech is, the difference between P and T and B and D and uh, CH and SH. And being at a distance with the 57 keeps it to just that range. I call it intelligibility band. It's the frequencies where the intelligibility is. Also, we're using 57 because of the sound of the 57, which from your perspective, this is the low end and this is the high end, it has no low end, and then it has a presence peak in the mid-range that emphasizes that. I'm gonna play you the first line of the song without the headphones and then with the headphones. Here it is, without. I'm keeping everything tied together with these six strings. And here it is with, I'm just bringing up a channel that has the microphone on it. I'm keeping everything tied together with these six strings. I could turn it down, that that's kind of emphasizes the effect, but uh, properly mixed in. I'm keeping everything tied together with these six strings. It does all the things that we strive to get out of a vocal in the simplest possible way with tools that you already have. There are some exceptions. If a vocalist is overly sibilant or harsh, you might want to use a different microphone, possibly a ribbon. Uh, you can experiment with the distance from the microphone to the headphones. If it doesn't work, you've just uh, only spent a little bit of time. What I typically will do is open a new track in Pro Tools and record that 57 onto another track and uh, then just blend it in. One of the things that's interesting about that is that you can then compress or EQ the regular vocals separately from the intelligibility track. <laughs> 